The reading for December 2nd uh, is Genesis chapter 49, verses 1 and 2, and then 8 through 10. 1 and 2 gives us the context. Then Jacob called his sons together and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you what shall happen to you in days to come. Assemble and listen, O sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel your father. This is when Jacob or Israel is passing away. And this is what he says to Judah. Verse 8. Judah, your brothers shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion's cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion and as a lioness who dares rouse him. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet until tribute comes to him, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. Why is this a text included in Christmas readings uh, or in preparation for Christmas? Well, Abraham has Isaac, has Jacob, who then you have the 12 sons that become the 12 tribes of Judah, of, of Israel. And Judah, of course, is the line that is going to rule, that is going to be the kings. King David, King Solomon, comes from uh, Judah's line, as does Jesus and Joseph and Mary's family, it seems, as well. They were from the tribe of Judah. Judah was given a promise that he would reign, that somebody from his line would always be reigning for all time. And it seems a strange promise when Israel at times is not a country. And yet we realize with Christ, of course, that son rules forever. That son will rule until tribute comes to him, and so shall the obedience of the peoples. In fact, it's a promise of the son that has been waited that we're waiting for, the, the seed of the woman back from Genesis 3.14, that seed comes from Judah's line. And now we have some detail about that seed. It will be a king. That child that comes in this line will be a king from the line of Judah that will rule all peoples. So we have the promise, the seed of the woman. Now we know that promised one is a king. That's a reading for December 2nd in preparation for Christmas.